Hello researchers, are you looking for the best AI for academic research, today we're comparing three leading contenders. ChatGPT, with its broad knowledge base, size space known for its specialized literature search capabilities, and Consensus AI, designed to find scientific consensus across studies, by the end of this video you'll know exactly which tool will supercharge your research workflow, let's get started. First of all, let's try ChatGPT to address our research question, let me input my question about Impact of social media on mental health After hitting enter You can see, ChatGPT is searching different websites and general articles to extract answers from various sources It has cited studies from ResearchGate, ScienceDirect and many more and has written a comprehensive response around our concern. At the end, you can see the sources. At this point, you can access these sites to learn more, but these sources haven't been formatted using citation formats. Like APA, Chicago, and others. Additionally, this response doesn't provide answers in a clear yes or no form. Using Chat GPT, we can't easily determine impact of social media on mental health. It doesn't address our question directly, by showing which studies support, and which don't support the premise, it lacks proper formatting. And doesn't answer in a, yes, or, no form, more importantly, chat GPT doesn't allow searching by applying various filters, nor does it allow downloading cited studies, in different formats. Now let's try SciSpace, for the same question. Here, you'll see, it extracts answers. From five different papers, which is a good approach, it provides information from each paper that can be accessed directly. Furthermore, we can export these studies in various formats, which wasn't possible in ChatGPT. We can access each paper and interact with them. To learn more about any specific study, However, SizePay still doesn't address our concern, in a yes, no format, regarding whether impact of social media on mental health. Now, using Consensus AI, with the same query, you'll see, various unique features tailored for research. The first feature is Consensus Meter, it clearly addresses our research question and extracts answers in a supportive format. We can see 78% of studies say, yes, highly impact of social media on mental health, 11% answers is, it's possible, 6% of mixed, while only 6% say no, this is a unique feature missing in the tools, we discussed previously. Further it extracts information from different papers, by exploring millions of publications, and ends with a conclusion, that can be directly used in literature reviews. More importantly, these results can be downloaded in various formats and integrated with reference management tools like Mendeley and Zotrero, features missing in both ChatGPT and SciSpace. Furthermore, we can learn more about any particular paper by opening the snapshot extracting detailed information from each paper making it easy for readers to understand if you want to access and interact with any academic paper. Consensus AI allows you to do. So, Consensus AI also offers a filter feature that allows extracting specific papers by selecting various options, including publication year, research methods, journals, number of citations, and more, this filter option helps get specific information around our area of concern and identify research gaps. A unique feature missing in ChatGPT and SciSpace. Additionally, we can add any paper to our list or copy citations in various formats, including APA, MLA, Chicago, and more.
We can share these academic papers by creating shareable links. These unique features make Consensus AI a perfect tool for academic research. It addresses research questions and lets readers decide whether to proceed with their research questions. It extracts information from 200 million papers and has features lacking in other tools like ChatGPT and SciSpace. In a nutshell, Consensus AI is tailored for academic research. You can access it for free. Thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe my channel.